Okay, now what we're going to do is test the bleed port on the pressure switch. And you can see what we're doing at this point is simulating low draft, which would be uh, maybe because the flue is partially blocked or the heat exchanger is partially blocked and you can see the LED is not on. So in this condition, the furnace would absolutely not be running. So we're going to, you can see the bleed port on the pressure switch right here. It's a little tiny hole. And you can see what a difference this will make if you have a, blo a blocked bleed port. I'm going to go ahead and block it with a rubber band. And you can watch the pressure start to climb. And you can see that the uh, pressure switch did close. And that at this point, the furnace would actually be running in a very dangerous condition. Now, if the pressures did not change at all, you would see that your bleed port was actually blocked. If the pressures do change, you would know that the, the bleed port is open.